As we come to the end of the week, let's remind ourselves of where we've been. So we've been digging deeper into the idea that reading the Bible can be can be incredibly satisfying instead of feeling like drudgery. In fact, a lot of our frustrations with the Bible come from misguided expectations and, and misunderstanding its purpose. We've learned that reading the Bible is primarily a way to build our relationship with God. You know, it's our chance to, to get to know Him, to relate to Him as both our Father and our friend. We also learn that it tells a riveting story about God and us. And when we read it, it is perfectly fine I'd even say awesome, <laughs> to get lost in the story. In other words, it's not an instruction manual. It's not a textbook. It's a collection of stories, and God is the master storyteller. But an important thing to remember is that it's all true, and you're actually a part of the story. One final reminder that I wanted to highlight in today's Devo is that reading the Bible, it's not a solitary practice. Instead, it's a time spent alongside God. That means that we're never to simply just read it, but rather we are always to respond to it, to interact with it in the presence of God. That means that prayer is undeniably intertwined with reading the Bible. As you read it, you'll wanna take time to, to pause, you know, reflect on what you're reading with God. You know, ask him questions like, what does this mean? Where are you in this story? Who do you think I'm most like in this story? Or talk to him about what you enjoy or even what you don't enjoy. Be honest when you come across something that's difficult to understand or even difficult to swallow. It's often said that God speaks to us through the Bible and we speak to him through prayer. I'd say it's not quite as rigid as that, but that is a helpful framework to remind you that the two practices do go hand in hand. Like reading the Bible without prayer, it's going to feel static. It's gonna feel boring. But when you pray as you read, you get the chance to talk about the Bible with the very God who wrote it. And that's pretty incredible. And what's more is that your time reading the Bible with Him can become the seedbed of life change. In fact, I love how Eugene Peterson paraphrases how the Apostle Paul talks about this. He says, every part of scripture is God breathed and useful one way or another, showing us truth, exposing our rebellion, correcting our mistakes, training us to live God's way. Through the word, we are put together and shaped up for the tasks that God has for us. So to summarize, the next time you open the Bible, which I hope is sooner rather than later, just take a breath first. Let go of any unnecessary rules that you've put in place and just come with the expectation of engaging with God, of spending time with your Father and see where it takes you.